So I've got a new client come in. He's supposed to be a big dog TV personality. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, you know? Like, it's, it's been a while since I've been on the scissors. I was gonna restart a famous celeb. One of the big dogs, Schofield, Cow. Could have been Bex. To be fair, whoever he is, I'm gonna give him the best haircut of his life. Oi, oi, brother. What are you doing here? Mate, I've got a big dog client on his way now. Oh yeah, I am your big dog client. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, of Mate, not. I thought Simon Cow was on his way. Did you? Do you know what? You've come to the right place. I've been wanting to get my hands on this rascal barnet. Come on, man. I Mr. feel like I've let you down a little nah, bit. No, it's good, it's good. Good to see you anyway. You as well. You happy to see me? Take a seat, my friend. Here we go. Ken's cuts. So what are we doing for now? Well, the thing is, Ken, I've got a little bit of a date tonight. So I thought, Get the cliff in action, do you know what I mean? Pop it up, tidy the sides up a bit. What I was thinking is, yeah, nice and short through the sides, a little skin fade, take it quite high, keep all the length through the curvature of the head, clean up the beard, take it short through the crown, take a bit of length off through the front, but chip into it, keep it texturized, get that nice little movement, and we're laughing, what do you reckon? More than a short back inside then. <laughs> Mate, good. you know I got you. I got you. You ready? Got Let's wash this barnet first, yeah? <laughs> So how you been anyway? How's things? What's everyone saying about the new barnet, the colour? What's the reaction been? The thing is, Cam, I tried to like change the colour, but then it goes a little bit wonky. Do you know what, mate? I think it's decent, you know? It's different, but it goes well with the beautiful eyes, you know? Hey. It goes well with the blue, do you know no, what I think? I knew I'd come here for a compliment. <laughs> compliment and a hair. Should we leave your barnet like this? Yeah, just leave it like that. <laughs> mate, how weird is it though? Like, we're both single now, innit? Who would have thought it? Oh, in the villa, right? Yeah. I was thinking about this the other day. We come out there and we start talking about marriage. Can you remember them days? <laughs> Can you remember them days? Nah, things have changed. It's been weird. Like, I, mean. I haven't really gone on many dates. I, just, I feel like I lost my touch though? a little bit. Do you reckon? I don't know. No, I don't think you have. You always got it. Yeah, do you know, like, I don't know, I just, I just get a little bit nervous. This is your touch, what you're doing right now. This is where I feel most comfortable. It's so weird, because like, I haven't been like in this situation cutting hair for a long yeah. time. And I love feeling that little bit of hair trickle down your neck. I know. Uh, and it's being chopped off by your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> that is the weirdest description. Yeah, but it's the best feeling, you know what I mean? So what's your worst haircut treatment you've had? Worst? Oh, yeah. mate. Oh, let me show you. You got photos? Yeah, I've got photos. <laughs> let me just grab her up. Have, oh, oh my God. God. Oh my God. Surely not. <laughs> 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 that isn't you. Yeah, but yeah, but you know it is. Mate, you look like you've just come out of a bush. Yeah, but check the you eyebrows look, as well. They're you're, <laughs> your head looks like an hedgehog, yeah? I was getting my eyebrows threaded at 14. <laughs> your, head, your head looks like a hedgehog. Yeah. And it literally looks like there's a metre between your eyebrows. No, I used to be on my you did. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'd let anyone walk out of the that, now. Well, that was very much the era. I was 14, 15 years old. Right? There wasn't an era. I never knew the Mate, era. Mate, well, I'd like to assume your age. I bet you had short hair when you were younger. Mate, I would not let anyone walk out of the shop with that type of barnet. Mate, I ain't coming here for one of them barnets. You ain't me. having it. What's the dream cut? What do you want? But the thing is, Cam, I've got a little bit of a soft spot for that thing to quit. But you know when Beaver had a bleach one? Right? And then he had the quit. <laughs> do you reckon you've got it in the locker to pull it off, though? I think you've got a little bit tucked away. Mate, the blonde hair, the blue eyes, I reckon you can pull it no, off. We're having it, mate. Mate, that's the blow dry done. Looking good. And at the end, we'll finish it off with a bit of product, yeah? We're gonna get these sides taken off, yeah? Take it yeah. nice and short, fade it up. Love that. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, tackers, mate. <laughs> you don't even know, I might be doing something bad, you don't know. Yeah, but I know I'm in good hands right now. There's a little game I like to play in my clients called Listen Up. As you know, a lot of people like to relax and swish off during their haircuts. So I could literally say anything, and they don't even know. So this is how it works. I get a random topic or theme generated by my Twitter followers for this Chem Cuts game. So Gemma on Twitter wants me to talk about Chinese takeaways. So what I have to do is get as many Chinese takeaway related words into my chat to see if Chris is really listening to me. Every time I slip a word in, I give myself a point. So Chris Hughes, are you gonna listen up? Hey, you been on holiday? No, what do you think that? Tall cracking tan, that. This? Yeah. It's a little bit of bronze on. So what do you think of the shop? Do you like it? Mate, I love it in here. It's got that kind of like yeah. retro-y vibe. How many times have you been to Essex? Uh, five, 
twice. Oh, is it? Maybe three times. Yeah. This is looking good, man. Oh, I'm feeling good. Let me just uh, chop suey that off. Chop suey? Yeah, it's just like... Chop suey that off, yeah? Yeah, just like, like chop suey the sides off. What is this, your local cuisine? <laughs> No, I'm just Mind like, you, if, if, if this turned into like a bit of a restaurant, probably go a little bit. Yeah. Turkish food, a few kebabs. Yeah, you know, you know how it is, mate. I was on a roll and then I went in for the big one. Right, so I've put my guideline in. Yeah. You've got to keep still, mate. Keep no, that no, sweet no, and sour no. chicken, boy. It's still. Why do you keep referring to Chinese food? <laughs> what? Do you say keep my sweet and sour chicken, boy, still? Yeah, like your head, like keep it still. Why are you referring to Chinese food for? Yeah, I don't know. I just like. I always say that to my clients. Do you? I like that. Mate, you had any um, bad dating experiences? I honestly, genuinely haven't had any. My, my love life history ain't great, you know it. You've been stood up before? Chatting to this girl. And like, I've got a bit of a tendency to be a little bit keen at the beginning. Right. But I get a bit full on and I took her out one time. So I just thought, I'll book two tickets to Amsterdam for the weekend, for the next day. Oh. And like, she just didn't turn up. What, she didn't come to the airport? Mate, I was standing at the airport on my own, no. and she just didn't turn up. And there was this other time as well, I was chatting to this girl, and then like, I said, oh, I'll take you out, and I thought, oh, like, I'll do something quite cool. So I thought I'd take her to London yeah. Dungeons and that, because oh, it's like nice. education yeah. and fun at the same time. Yeah, and a bit scary. She didn't turn up. Went in there on my own, mate. Well, question I have for you now. Did you go to Amsterdam on your own? <sighs> Suck it off. Last minute, one of my mates come to the airport and took me, like, this romantic suite, so we had to top and tail. I've never been on a proper date before. Really? But the thing is, I'm a bit of a flirt, but, like, I'm just a friendly person. You are a flirt. I don't think yeah. I'm a flirt, I'm, like, just no, friendly. you are. Do you reckon? Even when you pour on my ass, try flirting my mum. Yeah, you yeah, have something about your mum. As in, no, she's lovely lady. She's got she's beautiful skin. That's what I meant. It's just crazy, isn't it? Like, where, where, what we were doing, like, a year ago, man. What was you doing? Bit of everything, mate, of milking cows one day, bedding them down at night. The other day I was in the office being a solicitor. And you mix that with, like, feeding cows and that? Yeah, well, milk the cows in the morning, feed them and... Then bang the tie on in the afternoon. The thing is, Ken, if you bed down a cow at night, you go to bed a lot happier knowing that they got a good night's sleep as well. <sighs> Otherwise, I'd be restless. I suppose the farm is a little bit different to Essex, to be fair. Right, finishing touches. It's the wet, man. Okay, so Chris was about to see his brand new haircut. I was a little bit nervous, you know. Mate, we're nearly there. Last step. Nearly there. Head back. Little bit of hairspray. Put the weapon through it. I think it's just looking. Just that little bit of texture. Perfecto to me. Mate, it looks banging. Yes, boy. Look how happy my face is under the mirror. Sick. Mate, one more thing before you go. Go on. Because I know, I know you love it. I ain't looking after me. Here we go. Bit of powder. Yep. You're laughing. Oh, we're laughing, baby. You ready? Do you know what? If I had any nerves before, they've all evaporated. I do get nervous when people cut my hair, but to be fair, Kem has absolutely nailed this. Can't wait to go on my first date. Not my first date. It's been a pleasure. It's been emotional. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Ring me in the morning. Yeah. I want to know all about it. Yeah, I'll ring you in the morning to tell you about the date and to book another appointment. Thank That's you. What we're doing, in a bit. Tell See you later, later, baby. Love you, mate. Love you. Loving the new lid. But I don't know what Ken was banging on about those Chinese takeaways for. Guys, if you like Chem Cuts, click the link right here.